Well, there are actually Halloween events all across the country this weekend, of course, and a new decision from the FDA is giving some families some hope. While there is still waiting for a decision for the CDC, this could be the last holiday with no vaccinated kids. Here's Alex Fees. This is my daughter, Kaylee. Okay, how old is Kaylee? She's two. At the Spanish Lake Fall Fest in Bell Park Plaza, residents and merchants gather to celebrate the season. They react to the FDA on Friday, paving the way for children ages 5 to 11 to get Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. I think it's great. Um, I think all kids need vaccinations because it's still spreading through kids. I think it's a good idea for everybody, for the kids, for us. At the University City Farmer's Market, a band called Loud at 9 a.m. provides background. Like kid-sized COVID-19 doses, it's music to the ears of parents here. When the feet you hear, you still got on. Looking forward to approval for all ages, but um, George isn't there yet. But um, once it is, we'll definitely consider it. I think we'd like to get our child vaccinated whenever it's approved for three-year-olds as well. It'll give us a peace of mind that we can visit an older, older uh, members of our family finally with the kids. So that our grandparents really want to see the kids. With the FDA action, Pfizer will begin shipping millions of doses of the pediatric vaccine across the nation. With CDC approval, eligible children will get two shots three weeks apart. Most parents at the Central West End Halloween Street Party call a kid's COVID vaccine a treat right before this children's holiday. I would not get my child vaccinated, but I am. Yeah. Still a little concerned? Yes, sir. Yeah. About what? Um, just the risk of everything, the after effects, because I know it makes adults tired, so I don't know the effect on a child her size. One of them is old enough, and the other one's just turning four, so she won't be old enough. But I'm, I'm hoping that comes early next year for her. Alex Fees, five on your side. One more regulatory hurdle remains. On Tuesday, CDC advisors will make more detailed recommendations on which kids should get vaccinated with the final decision expected shortly afterwards.